everybody, how are you? If you watched my recent vlog, you know that I spent a bit of time recently in the South Island of New Zealand. I went down to visit my family for a while in Dunedin. It was a really good place to be when you were an awkward, eccentric dressing teenager like myself <laughs> slash young adult because there are a lot of secondhand shops there. There's this one massive place that's pretty much all just clothes, two floors, it's like a huge warehouse. That's where I used to get like all my clothes and shoes and stuff back in the before times. <laughs> I'd buy like cheap shoes and I'd put studs in them and I'd put studs into jackets and I'd, you know, customise things. I was never very good at it. I've never really liked that whole, you know, goth DIY or die kind of attitude. Yes, it's, it's very cool to make your own stuff if you're able to. And back in the day we kind of had to because there wasn't really the stuff available that there is now. There wasn't Punk Grave and Killstar and all these in the internet. <laughs> there wasn't that kind of thing. So I spent a lot of my youth shopping at secondhand shops buying clothes for like two or three dollars. When I mention the price of stuff, if I can remember any of the prices, it's New Zealand dollars I'm talking in so you can pretty much just half it to make it like US dollars or pounds like roughly. I went to a few different secondhand shops and there were some things that I couldn't actually bring back with me. A couple of things were too large so I've had to leave them at my mum's house but I'm going to be using those things for a DIY project video in the soonish future when I'm able to retrieve those things. It should be really cool. It's something I've like never done before but always wanted to give a go. Anyway let me show you all the random stuff I picked up from the secondhand shops I went to in the South Island of New Zealand. Some things might be a bit surprising. It's not all clothes there are some things as well. So as I just showed you this t-shirt I think this has to be my favorite find. Five dollars. <laughs> That's like the um city logo. <laughs> like this gothic font and I, I thought I was like I have to buy this. Dunedin yeah. This is a wee bit big but I'm, I'm I've still worn it a few times and I'm definitely gonna wear it heaps because I like this sort of thing it's super useful it's just it's a maxi dress like I said I've worn it a couple of times so I think it's got a wee bit of makeup on it sorry it's a long 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 maxi dress voluminous and slinky goes all the way to the floor like I said it's a wee bit big but that's okay it's got this belt thing attached that goes around the waist because it's a wee bit big so I don't just look like a total bag wearing it it cinches the waist in with this belt and it's very nice and I think this would have cost like under ten dollars might have been like six or eight dollars or something so cheap so useful really really good for hot summery days because it is summertime here I got a couple of things to go with that actually because sleeveless things I just don't do sleeveless things I hate showing off my upper arms it makes me feel weirdly naked. Maybe you've noticed that one of my favorite things to wear is boleros. This is formerly from Pagani. If you live in New Zealand or maybe Australia, I don't know, you'll know Pagani. Like a medium flash high street shop. I guess I got this bolero for like a couple of dollars. I love boleros, especially over a maxi dress. I think it just, it's so it's an easy outfit that looks really nice. It sort of reminds me ever so slightly of like Regency dresses, you know, with like little short cropped jackets with like a long empire waist dress. I love that sort of look. Nice plain little bolero, stretchy with long sleeves. God, I miss my clothes. I've been separated from my clothes for a year and a half. It's been a year and a half. I've been living out of a suitcase and my suitcase is becoming quite full with secondhand things. Here's something you might not expect from me. I thought it looked quite nice on and I really liked the colour. I guess you'd call it a blazer. Can you see? A red wine coloured blazer. I mean it's the shape of a blazer. It's got a nice little flared bit around the waist. But it doesn't have buttons on it. It rather does up with a ribbon. This to me looks like it was probably quite expensive at some point. I don't wear colour like ever but red is my accent colour usually if I put on any colour it would be red and I really like blood red and like wine red. Don't you think it's summer? The only thing I don't like about this is that it's got shoulder pads. Why do things still have shoulder pads in them? Of all the things to hang around from the 80s why uh, shoulder pads are awful especially if you're like me and you've already got like broad shoulders or well, things with shoulder pads just look ridiculous i will probably take those out and hopefully it doesn't mess up the shape of it too much another little jacket i got which i wore recently to go to well, we had like a little picnic-y meet-up thing had a picnic on a mass grave all the spooky weirdos in town got together and we had a picnic on the mass grave it was pretty cool anyway i 
wore this. It's also like a blazer, or I guess you could call it a cropped jacket. And it's got short, well, three quarter sleeves, which I love three quarter sleeves. It also has that flared kind of waist, which I think just looks very elegant. Makes me think of like, you know, like a riding habit or something like that. Ignore the lining. <laughs> when it's on, you can't see it. Strange sort of roughly collar but really nice on i don't remember what this cost but i know that everything i bought was like hardly anything if something's more than like 15 20 dollars i won't buy it because it's like well i'm buying someone's old clothes i don't want to be paying the price i could get something new for you know i would if i could have vlogged doing my second hand shopping as i did that one time with mr l my big favorite shop to go to does not allow you <laughs> to film in there and i know that because i've tried and they told me off there we go does that give you a kind of idea sort of little small jacket while we're still on jackety things i love this i've worn this several times i think i wore it to my aunt's funeral i've worn it out to like family dinners and things it makes like a boring outfit look fancy and all it is is this little cardigan thing made completely out of lace Again with the sort of high waist that's a wee bit flared. Can you we seeing a theme here? I don't know if you can see it, and it's got sequins on it. It's got a wee trim of sequins and beads in that, and it just makes it look so fancy. It also doesn't have buttons, does up with a wee ribbon. I feel like I'm like huffing and puffing a bit. It's just really hot. I feel like so many of my videos I'm complaining about the heat. <laughs> I'm always too hot. I know a lot of you right now can't relate because it's winter time and snowing and stuff where you are. It is the middle of summer here. It is warm. Elegant and pretty and it's just so simple and it costs hardly anything. I'll wear this with like a tight fitting black top underneath and like a long skirt or like a maxi dress like that one with this over the top and it just makes the outfit look Look really nice a lot more sophisticated than it actually is please don't judge me too harshly okay when it comes to buying secondhand clothing and things i always draw the line at secondhand undergarments night wear and swimsuits like no something that feels too intimate and icky about that kind of thing like i would never buy someone's old pajamas but i broke my rule of not buying secondhand undergarments when i saw these and i just absolutely had to have them if you can't tell they're bloomers. <laughs> Drawers or britches or... Yeah, everybody, look at my knickers. <laughs> I've worn them a few times and it's really fun because I'll like hitch up my skirt and be like, look at my knickers. <laughs> look how long they are. They're so long. Obviously, I washed them super, super thoroughly when I got home. I mean, they were already clean. I couldn't not but it gets better. There's a second pair. They're slightly different, but they're both pretty similar. I got two pairs of black silky bloomers. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm willing to break my rule for black bloomers. These are amazing. I love them. They are my favorite underwear. <laughs> also from that same shop. This was in Cromwell actually in Central Otago. Probably nobody knows where that is. Who cares? There was also this little petticoat. I actually wear petticoats a lot. And this was like, I got like $2 I think. Very small silky petticoat with loose on it. Got two tops here to show you. This was also really, really cheap. I think like $2. It's a t-shirt made out of mesh, but with this roughly neckline, which is a wee bit of a lower neckline. A little bit nicer than your average t-shirt. I guess if you were fine with showing off your body, you know, this sort of thing could be worn with just a bra underneath, but I would not do that. <laughs> no. So I've worn this a few times, the tank top underneath, and it's just for me, it's kind of like a halfway point between looking like an absolute sack of garbage and like I've put in a bit of effort. An easy way to look less like a potato. Lastly, super duper useful. Uh, I was just talking about tank tops. This is a tank top. It's originally come from Glassons. New Zealanders and possibly Australians will know Glassons. The House of G. Main Street kind of youthful fashion shop. So I think this was about two or three dollars as well. Just a tank top, but it's got loose. And it looks really super on makes my boobs look great that's what i'm trying to say makes my boobs look good this sort of thing i wear all the time with a bolero or a cardigan and a long skirt and usually like a belt around the middle as well for me that's pretty much my go-to clothes <laughs> most of the time i wear waist belts constantly obviously not today like i mean not with a t-shirt or something pretty much every time i'm wearing a skirt or a dress or whatever i'll have a waist belt on too i just like them and i found two of these i actually don't know where the other one's gone it's like a pvc belt a thin pvc belt don't know where the other one is that's okay got a pvc bag and pvc shoes so it's just like 
matching. Super useful, and I think these were like 50 cents each. A couple of wee bits of jewellery. These were, <laughs> it's got makeup on it, I'm sorry, but um, you, you get the idea. I think these were a dollar each. String of beads, black beads with little silver bits in between. Yo. What I'm saying is that, you know, things don't have to be expensive and it's really about seeing the potential and stuff. It doesn't have to be like a goth accessory from a goth brand or whatever. It can be anything, but it's about seeing the potential in something. Also, the sweet choker was also like a dollar and it looks just nice and effective. Bead choker thingy madoodad. Lovely. Last sort of bodily wearing item. I've worn these a few times so they look a bit worn but they look they were completely like new when I got them and I think they cost six dollars and just a pair of slippers, shoes. In the last couple of years I've become one of those people who wears like nana slippers. I've always been a boot person, I've always just worn boots but in the last couple of years I'm just like you know what these are quite comfortable. I'm like this is an age thing. Oh I can just slide these on and off. They're so easy. Go a little pair of pointy slipper shoes. One of the things I wasn't able to bring back with me because it was too fragile, um, but I, I'll get it soon, I guess, is a tiny wee oil lamp. You know those Victorian oil lamps with the glass chimney and, you know, the oil and the wick and tra -la. It's one of those, but it's like that big. So cute. <laughs> I also got a bunch of doilies. <laughs> I actually got these for free because I bought something else in the same shop. These were like 10 cents each or something, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm just going to get all the doilies. So he just like let me have them. Ta-da. I really want to learn to make doilies but they are so time consuming, I think, to learn how to do. But my plan is to, to dye them black. I'm not sure if that will work, but I just think the black doilies are so homely and I think they would look so nice. Don't you think, black doilies? So this might surprise you a wee bit. Royal Grafton. These are Royal Grafton bone china sauces made for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. And there was no way I was going past these. I look forward to having my house bag so I can put them properly on display on like a little saucer stand. I guess because she's around about the same age, but I've always seen the queen in my head as like this third grandmother who I've never met. Like she's been present my entire life and she's the same age as my grandparents. So in my head, she's like another grandma. Is that weird? I haven't met the queen, but I have met Prince Charles. So I guess he's like the future king and that's pretty cool. I met Prince Charles and he shook my hand and he said, oh, you look fantastic. And I died. There was no way I wasn't going to buy these sauces. I think they'll go very nicely with my Queen Elizabeth tea towels. The first place I head to in secondhand shops that have stuff in them rather than clothes is the silver, all the silvery stuff. This has still got the price written on it, four dollars. And it's actually like not too shit considering. It's actually pretty substantial, it's not like really thin and tinny, but I really like these. I really love these silvery serve wear. It just it's so cheap and crappy, but it looks really elegant. Always that stuff. I don't know if it's the case everywhere in the world, but in like every second hand stop shop, there's always these like silver bowls and things like that. Slowly gathering a collection of cheap silver bowls. Also in the kind of old fake silver category, I've been wanting some nice coasters for a long time and for some reason, nice Sophisticated coasters are kind of hard to come by these days. I think this costs ten dollars. They're really heavy. I guess they're not completely crap. They're quite tarnished, but I like that. Easily polish these things up. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I kind of like the aged look. The decoration on them is like raspberries. I think. Can't really tell. It was this that I bought when they gave me the free doilies. Lastly, and this is still got the price tag on it, six dollars. Is this little shelf? I thought it was cute. I guess there was more than one. I would have preferred to have got more than one, but I, I just could not bring too much stuff with me. Again, it's about seeing the potential in things. I think that I will paint this black, like glossy black, and put a bit of a skull or a dead creative something or rather on it would look pretty cool. Candle holder or whatever, I don't know. With maybe a wee bit of silver around the edges or something like that. Again, I look forward to having my house back so I can actually like put things in places and have decorations and stuff. <laughs> Would COVID fucking chill already? Please, like, actually just fuck off. We're really just so done and we all want our lives back, please. I had another little jacket thingy, kind of like the Bolero, but with a more, like, squarish shape. I don't know where it's gone. It was on the couch and it wasn't. Like, it was there. It was definitely there. 
and then it's just not there. It's not anywhere else in the room, it's just gone. The two things I bought that were too big to carry back on the plane. Like I said, I'm gonna do a DIY project out of them that I've wanted to do for years, but I've, I've never done it, and so it'll be like an exciting new experience. It's so fun, I think, shopping at op shops or thrift stores. Uh, it's like a pick and mix, you know, it's like a lucky dip. You never know what's gonna be there. It's different every time. So yeah, what do you think of my haul? Kind of random, I know. Because these things are usually so cheap, if you wanna have a go at customizing shoes or clothes or whatever, like even if you are like me, very bad at it, if you fuck up, it doesn't really matter. Thanks very much for joining me in my week. Thrift haul. P.S. Can you please tell me what you think of the blonde fringe? Because I'm not I'm sure if I'm really loving it. I just want, I would like your opinion. I value your opinion. Anyway, if you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Come and join us. Click the wee subscribe button below and the wee bell thingy doodad too. As always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay amazing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.